Hi there. Now, in this video, I'm just going to answer part three. Calculate the volume of the pyramid ABCD. But if you'd like to uh, have a go at this question, then I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, or you might want to fast forward just to check out the answer quickly. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, to calculate the volume of the pyramid ABCD relies on a lot of the parts that we've done earlier. But to really appreciate this, I think what you've got to do is draw a sketch. So what I'm going to do is a sketch something like this. The base of the pyramid is going to be ABC. And the vertical height is going to be the vector AD. And I know that because in part two, we had to show that AD was perpendicular to both AB and AC. So if I just sketch this, let's just say we've got our perpendicular here. OK, this is going to be A and then we've got D up here. Then we've got, let's say, A to C out here. And if I draw A to B out here, say, OK, there's our B, then A, B, C becomes the base. And then I've got a line coming down from D to C and then from D to B. And what we've got here is that the plane A, D, C is vertical and A, D is perpendicular to A, C. The plane ADB is vertical and AD is perpendicular to AB. So if I could just demonstrate that by doing that. The side AB you wouldn't really see. So what I'm going to do is we'll just delete some of that out. Put it as a dotted line through there. OK, so I hope you can get a feel for that triangular pyramid. OK, with its vertical height AD. Now, in order to calculate the volume then, it says it's a third the base area times the perpendicular height. Now, in order to work out the area of the triangle ABC, what we can call upon is the fact that we have got two sides that we've worked out, the lengths AB and AC. We worked those out in part one. And we've also got the included angle, angle BAC. Let's just mark those on. In part one, we found out the length of AB was the square root of 91. And the length AC was the square root of 27. And this angle in here, let's just mark it in there. I don't think I can squeeze it in there, but let's just project it out here. That angle we found to be 171. 0.316 and so on degrees. So it's not a good sketch here as you can see but that doesn't matter. Now when it comes to working out the air of the triangle then once we've got this information it's just half the product of the two sides times the sine of the included angle. Half AB sine C as some people call it. Okay but uh, we'll pick up on that one there. Perpendicular height, though, this is going to be the length AD. So we're going to need to get that. And we know that from 2, we got the vector AD. We didn't get its length. From part 2, let's just put it in here. We had that the vector AD was O to D minus O to A, which gave us 6, 4, minus 2. So we can get that length just by simply doing the modulus of that. So AD is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares. That would be 6 squared plus 4 squared. And I'll just write 2 squared. You don't need the minus there on the 2. And if you work this out, it comes to the square root of 56. So for the volume of the pyramid, let's just put an intro here. Therefore, the volume of ABCD is going to equal one third times 
the area of the base. So with the area of the base then it's going to be half the product of our two sides. So root 91 times root 27 times the sine of the included angle. So if we work in degrees it was 171.316 and so on degrees. And then to this we need to multiply it by the perpendicular height we've just seen is root 56. So if you work this out in your calculator you should find you get exactly 9 and a third or 9.333 and so on. Okay, That's the exact answer 9 and a third. If we round it say to three significant figures then it's going to be 9.33 to three significant figures, three SF. Okay?